guys today we are going to look what's inside a gen 4 stack mat so this is not a gen 5 stack mat this is gen 4 the gen 5 is the latest one the way it operates is you um, for turn it on put two fingers see the green LED getting on you lift up your hands and then put it down it costs uh, how many dollars 100 to 200 dollars but it's quite expensive so once you open it uh, you get to see that there is a battery casing here and you can see that the red and the yellow uh, black wires are soldered so red um, will be positive black will be negative this goes to these two points in the circuit and uh, you can see that the touch pads are coupled via this see there is a touch pad here then there is a thin strip right here and this gets soldered and we'll see what what is there on the top similarly this pad there is a like um, this uh, wire thin film wire that sends the uh, haptic data and we have it soldered uh, glue gun here actually and uh, what else we have we have uh, just a mechanical uh, start kind of thing here we have a four, 47 microfarad capacitor and uh, nothing much here so yeah what i can try to do right now is uh, try to remove this four screws so that we get to see the pcb so it's a relatively simple circuit and um, like it's not hard to make so uh, i kind of don't understand why it's so expensive uh, this stack mats even the cheaper ones the key and moe timers are still quite expensive so yeah let's remove the screws I'm using a Moyu screwdriver. Uh, I have another screwdriver, but that's way, way too small. But yeah, this is good, good enough. Let's remove the last one. And yeah, we are done. Let's try and unmount and see how we can remove the PCB if we can okay, we have the PCB right here uh, this is of the stack mat so you can see that there is a push button for powering on so if you just see this powers on uh, the LED display is quite fancy it is uh, not the normal one it's a bit uh, shifted in order for the design to work so um, the haptic feedback works like this so you just have to uh, short the circuit there are two SMD LEDs here so that will just short it and this is the reset push button so you press it so you just uh, see um, give the haptic feedback and you have the timer starting you touch both of them again and the timer stops and uh, these are the these two push buttons are for uh, the save and this uh, they are also used for some purpose um, we clearly do not see the microcontroller driving the board I guess the microcontroller and everything is in behind the LED so we'll try and check that out also but overall we see that um, there is one zero ohm register here and uh, two capacitors two capacitors and the PCB is looking to be one layer PCB or something yeah I don't know yeah and now I remove the LED and what I see is there is some heat paste down there and I guess this is where the microcontroller sits um, there are two registers and two more registers and uh, zero ohm register here uh, I don't have the schematic, it's proprietary. But what I don't like about this PCB is there is some solder just kept out here. Overall, this PC, PCB should not take that much to design. Uh, it should take like mostly one week of one a person's time. It's not that hard circuit. Uh, even one week is an overstatement. So I am unable to see the microcontroller that's being used. But I definitely know that it has been kept under this heat pace. What I can try and do is count the number of lines. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
टेंथ इलेवन ट्वेल्थ थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी सो दिस इज अ थर्टी पिन माइक्रो कंट्रोल बींग यूज द टॉप रो इज गिविंग सिग्नल्स टू दी एल ई डी सो इफ यू जस्ट सी द एल ई डी दिस इज जस्ट हीट दिस इज जस्ट फोम बट देर इज दिस एल ई डी पिन्स ऑन द टॉप एंड दे आर जस्ट मेकिंग सिंपल कॉन्टैक्ट विद द बोर्ड सो इट्स क्वाइट ईजी सो इफ आई जस्ट पावर इट ऑन yeah i can see so i have to align the leds otherwise when i power on uh, i'm not i might get a short circuit also i have to be very careful so let me try and align it okay so yeah the led is getting voltage but it is not getting the zero signal that means it is not aligned properly overall the design is simple uh, the voltage is just uh, some simple batteries so if we just try and see the batteries that i use is uh, yeah it's just simple um, batteries that drive it's a uh, double a or triple a yeah, it's and the circuit is also simple what i don't like is they have put a heat sink which is not removable over the microcontroller so we cannot see what exactly is uh, the ic part number of the microcontroller but overall a very simple design and definitely like if i make this design it should cost around uh, less than 200 rupees uh, so uh, whereas this cost around 3500 rupees so that means they are making a profit of 3300 if they must produce that means they are making a profit of 3450 so uh, if it's mass produce uh, this can be made for even lesser cost less than like 2 dollars i must say so the components aren't that uh, expensive they are just resistors a simple 30 pin microcontroller led but uh, with a fancy uh, tilted um, um, seven segment display but overall it's quite simple uh, i definitely think uh, there should be cheaper uh, timers out there and better timers so uh, this this pcb design looks like some 30 year old pcb or like there isn't that much um, it's very trivial uh, so there should be more innovation in uh, the pcb design as well so yeah that's it this is what is inside a statement i would like to thank kubelelo.com for supporting this channel you can go right now to kubelelo.com and order your puzzles and at the checkout you can use the code cubelang to get 50 off your next order for any number of puzzles so go and buy and happy cubing